All right, what's happening? Got a video for you today. Going over Blade Show scores. Just talking about the show a little bit. Um, trying to get my lighting to work, man. This is like my overhead ring light. It's just freaking out, not working. So sorry about that. But these are what I got. This is what I picked up at Blade Show. So just first of all, uh, really cool to have Blade Show West here in Salt Lake City in my hometown. I um, mean, I guess it's not my hometown, but it's very, very close to my hometown. 15 minutes away. And... Just really cool to have it local. Um, it was a good, sh it was a good turnout. I felt like the show was smaller than I thought it was gonna be. I know it's ex extremely smaller than Blade Show Atlanta, which is like the big one. Um, but I would say compared to other shows I've been like USN, it was a little bit bigger, definitely bigger than USN. Um, and it was all kind of packed into one small area. The convention center though was huge, so they could have they could definitely expand. And I th I heard a rumor yesterday that it is coming to. Um, Salt Lake City again next year. I'm not sure how accurate that is, but I hope that's the case. Because I think it's a good venue. It's a good location, pretty centrally located. Um, and it's very knife friendly. You know, you can bring automatics, anything like that. Whereas like Portland was in California, it's kind of hard. So Utah's a better choice. So hopefully Blade Magazine um, gets that and they continue to have it here. So uh, it was great seeing friends, you know, hung out with uh, Kev, left EDC, which was great to meet him in person. Uh, I went to dinner here with him and Colin from Devo Knives, as well as uh, Stevie from Said Stevie on Instagram and YouTube. And man, I'm gonna totally forget the other couple we met up with, but he's got a spinner channel, more, more focused on fidget stuff, but he's into knives and guns. We had a, good, a lot of good discussion about guns. Uh, hung out with him and his wife, had a great dinner, and then uh, hung out with some old buddies. Chris from Yellow Day Energy up from Canada came down and. Yeah, just good to see a lot of people and hang out. That's one of the best things about these shows is just hanging out with old friends you haven't seen for a while that are into the knife community. Um, yeah, that was probably the best part. The knives are cool, but ultimately there wasn't a lot that jumped out to me, so I didn't get a lot from the show. But let's go ahead and start with what I did get. Uh, first thing I picked. All right, so I fixed the lighting to go over the knives. Going to edit out the rest of that, just keep the first part of it in there with the back lighting. But man, I had to, like, yeah, do all kinds. Of, I don't know why the lighting's so shitty. It's... Amazing how much, uh, it's the middle of daytime. Amazing how much that uh, ring light helped. So anyway, guys, these are what knives I picked up from the show. We'll go ahead and start with the first thing I picked up, which is the Protec Mordax. And we're going to put it on the wood so it's not drowned out in the blackness there. This is the Mordax in Magna Cut. This was the um, Blade Show special for Protec. They actually had a couple Blade Show specials. They had a Malibu operator. And I was going to get that, but it was in 20 CV, and I really wanted, I have plenty of, had plenty of knives in 20 CV. Really wanted to try something in Magna Cut that's heat treated properly. They said they'd run at 62, 63, so we'll find out. Um, the Mordox I like better than the Malibu 2, just because it's a little bit bigger, and you get that forward choil. Um, yeah, just like a, just a titch bigger, better than the, the Malibu. So, picked that up. Um, there was very few of these there, and they sold out in the first day, as far as I know. The next item I picked up was the Pair 3 Maximit. This is a Factory Second from Spyderco. They didn't have anything new at the show, so um, didn't do a video on them, but they did have these and the Pair 2 in, in um, Maximit for 80 bucks. so why would I not? Um, I used to have Maximit Pair 3, sold it, and I've been thinking, man, Maximit's still edge retention king, so pick up another one, throw these in an set of ADWT scales, and you got a really great Pair 3, so... Picked one of those up for 80 bucks, super cheap. Well, the Mordax, I think, was 270 with the Magna Cut. The next item up was pretty special. I got this one. I'm gonna use this mat, just flip it upside down. Um, because it was a lotto knife that, that, that uh, TRM had. They only had two of these at the show. And I entered it last minute in one, which is kind of funny. But it is the Shadow in full titanium with that nice sunburst milling on the titanium. Beautiful knife, they did such a good job on this. You can tell that it was definitely a, a limited <laughs> number of these done because it's just so well done. Um, so yeah, really good knife. I like the shadow quite a bit. And I entered it last minute. It was very, uh, the other guy that won was actually Zach Stuff, as you guys know on YouTube. Kind of funny that two YouTubers won it. Um, it was totally random, obviously. They just gave like, uh, what do you call those things? Playing cards. And we, they tore them in half, and that was your number. Like, I had eight of diamonds. And then the guy randomly picked them out of a pouch. It was super random. Me and both, Zach both won. Zach won the first one. I won the second one. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to keep it or sell it. Um, if you're a big TRM fan and want to 
hit me up. You're more than welcome to offer something for this because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but um, I thought I'd at least grab it, you know, so that I won the lottery. So yeah, there you go. TRM Adam, or excuse me, Shadow, full titanium, beautiful knife, beautiful knife for sure. So one of two. All right. The next thing I bought was some kitchen knives. So I really, really needed some nicer kitchen knives. I have one decent chef's knives, but wanted something that was, uh, my wife has a very particular requirement when it comes to knives like these that they have to have a sheath. And you wouldn't believe how many custom fixed or uh, kitchen knives were at this show at Blade West. And not one of them, yeah, not one of them had a sheath. Actually one, one guy did from Argentina. Those were pretty cool. I was gonna, I was in between that, but these these Bradford knives, where they were there at the show, um, were they met the, they met all the requirements I wanted. Lightweight. This is like five ounces. I mean, excuse me, five yeah, five ounces for a full size chef knife. Super lightweight. Um, ABL steel. So I wanted like more premium steel, so I didn't have to sharpen my kitchen knives as much, which is something I constantly am doing um, with the current ones I have. Uh, I wanted a good size like all all purpose chef's knife and a pairing knife. I wish they would have had a Santuku um, as well. I would have grabbed one of those or a chopper. The only kitchen knives they had were the chef, the pairing, and they had a fillet knife. Um, but these did have nice, you know, they're pretty basic leather sh um, sheaths, but you know what? They're going to sit in my drawer in these. They're not going to get banged up. They're going to stay nice. My wife's not going to worry about them cutting, <laughs> cutting herself on them, I guess. We don't have small children anymore, so I don't know why she's worried about that. But wanted some high quality. These were a good deal. I got the set for 270 uh, AVL steel, you know, nice stone wash finish on the blades. Just really good looking kitchen knives, very lightweight. Uh, so I wanted to get a little bit more premium kitchen knife. I was on the hunt for those. And these kind of met all the requirements I had. So I, I think I said pay 270, 270 for the set, um, which, you know, if you're looking at nice kitchen knives is not bad at all. Um, especially because a lot of the ones I was looking at customs were probably minimum $300. So for just one knife. Um, so yeah, uh, good deal. Walked on with those. Been meaning to upgrade my kitchen cutlery, so still going to continue to do it with additional ones. I hope Bradford makes some more um, styles. Now, Spyderco had some good ones too, the Murray Carter series, but again, they don't have the sheaths, and that's my wife's like big thing. So this met that requirement. So yeah, guys, that's my pickups from Blade Show um, West 2022. Again, it was great seeing people hanging out. That's the best part of these shows, really, is the camaraderie of the of the friends that you have. Um, that are there at the show and yeah, that's the best part about it and then it's kind of comes secondary for me but got some a little swag that's left edc's patch dead nuts a little banter thing uh you know matt no big deal didn't get a lot of stickers i'm not big in that kind of stuff i was actually pretty disappointed there wasn't all the patches there because i mean this was one of the patch only patches i got so i do like like shot show is like crazy for patches right like whereas this wasn't there was very few um available so all right, guys, thanks for watching my Blade Show West 2022. I'm going to put all this in a playlist. I got a bunch of videos up right now on all the different uh, makers and uh, companies I talk to. Put this up there as well. I'll have a nice little playlist for you guys to, to look at if you want to. Thanks for watching. See you next time.